you are currently on or thinking of getting on oral minoxidil but maybe are afraid of its potential side effects such as dizziness, unwanted body hair, swelling in hands or feet or even irregular heartbeats. Oh my god, I mean, I get it. On the one hand, you could have amazing regrowth just as this guy did after two and a half months. On the other hand, you could end up like this guy, <laughs> which is not so convenient. Nah, 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't end up like this because of oral minoxidil. That's just a joke picture. But stay until the end of the video if you want to learn what you can do to mitigate those side effects. So on August 18th, 2022, the New York Times released this article titled an old medicine grows new hair for pennies a day, doctors say. So in there they actually talk about oral minoxidil and its clear benefits in not only make your hair more dense but also on the unknown mechanism that makes it regrow new hair which was lost for decades. Even though this treatment is nothing new, ever since the article was published, the masses went straight ahead to their dermatologist to get a prescription. Before we talk about its incredible regrowth capabilities, let us quickly dive into what minoxidil is and what it does to you. As many of you know, minoxidil or its brand name Rogaine is available in either topical or oral form. What many of you may actually not know is that the original purpose of minoxidil was not to use it as a drug to combat hair loss, but actually to treat high blood pressure or in other words, hypertension. After some time of taking the drug, some patients were noticing that they were regrowing new hair that they had previously lost. So long story short, minoxidil was after some years FDA approved in topical form to treat hair loss. And this was actually the first treatment, treatment in history that really worked to regrow your hair. You may think, but if minoxidil was previously existing in the oral form, why did the pharmaceutical companies decide to create a topical form and not just sell the oral pills instead? Well, the simple explanation is that they wanted to avoid side effects. If you apply minoxidil topically on the spot where you are balding, you're just localizing the effectiveness of the drug to that area and basically saving the rest of your body to be exposed to large quantities of the drug. However, if you take the pill, the risk of getting side effects is much higher and these include dizziness, flushing, irregular heartbeat, fainting, fatigue, difficulty breathing when laying down, swelling in hands or feet, unusual rapid weight gain, and unwanted body or facial hair growth. Okay, 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 so I don't want anyone to freak out after hearing this. Those are the possible side effects you can get when taking the high milligram concentration that you would normally get if you want to treat hypertension. Just consider that people with hypertension had to take between 10 milligrams and 100 milligrams of minoxidil. When people taking it to treat hair loss can have great results when taking a 1.25 milligrams to a maximum of 5 milligrams concentration per day. So of course you can expect that with such a much lower concentration of the drug people have much much fewer side effects. And that's exactly what the researchers in this 2021 study concluded. They also came actually with a proposal of how much you should dose oral minoxidil to see your own tolerance and to avoid the side effects. Based on the safety data for females, the starting dose should be of 0.5 mg a day, followed by the 0.25 mg increments every 3 months, depending on the response and tolerability, up to a maximum dose of 2.5 mg a day. For males, this is different. Men have a much higher tolerability of the drug. So that's why the starting dose should be of 2.5 mg a day, followed by that 1.25 mg increments every 3 months, depending on the response and tolerability, up to a maximum dose of 5 mg a day. In my opinion, this is still a bit high. I think no one should actually take more than 2.5 mg of oral minoxidil a day. 5 mg a day only in the cases where you don't experience any results with the 2.5 mg a day. But what about if you're someone that is experiencing swelling, for instance? Well, <laughs> in that case, I would always recommend abandoning the treatment. It is absolutely not worth prioritizing your looks over your health. 
but in the weird case that you in theory still want to continue you could ask your doctor to prescribe you a diuretic pill that helps with that in addition to the diuretic pill your healthcare provider will also prescribe a beta adrenergic blocker because minoxidil can increase one's heart rate a beta blocker can lower blood pressure by blocking actually adrenaline however i insist this is insane and it is not worth the risks you can't just simply add more pills to counteract uh, another pill that you are taking this is like just saying that you smoke the joint and uh, because you felt too sleepy you decided to sniff some cocaine to counteract the effect that's just crazy it sounds insane because it is insane look my personal opinion is that you should try topical minoxidil first which is the safest and FDA approved for a reason and see what those results first are and I know you may be tempted to go straight to oral minoxidil because it is much more effective and also more convenient to take it's just taking one pill every day right in fact I know this because I went to my dermatologist and asked him to prescribe me oral minoxidil he prescribed me oral minoxidil in a 1.25 milligram concentration the only reason I didn't take oral minoxidil was because at the time I was also taking topical minoxidil and, it's, and I decided to give it a try and see if that gave me any results in my case it did and look in case you are not seeing any results with topical minoxidil I will recommend you watching this video where you can see how to increment those results easily just don't give up yet guys okay as always thanks a lot for watching and until next time i wish you a happy hero journey adios